Hey, Kelsey, that's right. The state is already reporting that a small number of doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine have already been administered. And the state does say that it is one of the most important tools they have in the fight against COVID-19. A third COVID-19 vaccine is once again being used to vaccinate Marylanders after the FDA and CDC ended their recommended pause of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Both agencies have full confidence that this vaccine's known and potential benefits outweigh its known and potential risks. The vaccine now comes with a warning label for rare and severe blood clots. Six women experienced them after getting the J&J &J vaccine, prompting the federal agencies to call for a pause back on April 13th. People were really asking to have this back. They wondered why we had paused and they were anxious to have this back, have an opportunity for a single dose vaccine. J&J &J vaccinations have begun once again in Maryland. The state's acting deputy secretary of public health services, Dr. Jenilee Chan, said by resuming use of this safe and effective vaccine in Maryland, we will continue to bolster our ability to stay ahead of new cases and emerging variants. We're confident that the Janssen COVID-19 vaccine meets our robust standards. Another vaccination effort was also on Iran Saturday at the University of Maryland Baltimore where a clinic was open specifically for Native Americans, a group that's been hit hard by COVID-19 and has experienced a high mortality rate from the virus. There are elders that know ceremonial songs or, or are fluent language speakers that if COVID strikes them, we lose that for generations. And so getting vaccinated protects the indigenous knowledge that we have. And that clinic is open Thursdays through Saturdays. We're live in Harbor East, Stetson Miller for WJZ.